Hi yogis and thanks for joining me on my new YouTube channel called Yin Yoga with Matt. And today we have a beautiful sequence. We're going to put the emphasis on deep stretching. So you're going to need two blocks for today and that's all you're going to be needing. So we're going to get into it. Facing forward on your mat, we're going to take our left leg and put it straight ahead of us. Sitting on the ground, we're going to bring our right leg with the knee pointing forward and we're gonna try to have the foot flat on the ground right beside ourselves like this. We're gonna be placing blocks behind us and you might be flexible and you don't need them, but I do. So we're gonna be lowering ourselves, placing the block right in the middle of our back as we lower ourselves to the ground. And we can use the other one here for support for the head. So we're gonna be placing it. This can be a little challenging. All right, let's get into it. There you go. You should be feeling a nice stretch in your right leg. So today is all about going deep within yourself. We're gonna be holding positions for about five minutes. So it's really gonna allow your body <clears throat> to stretch that deep fascia. And you should feel really relaxed and open up after today's practice. So just allow the gravity to do its work. You don't need to force anything or to do anything specific here. Just breathe through the asana. You'll find that as you hold the position, the tension in your right leg disappears and it becomes more and more comfortable. And that's what yin yoga is all about. It's about allowing your body to get to that point by holding the positions for a longer period of time.
So we're approaching the end of this side and we're going to be slowly getting out of it then setting ourselves up for the other side. So you can roll into your left side, helping yourself and bringing your knee forward. We're going to go back to the seated position. And from here, we're going to do the same thing on the other side. So bending the left knee, pointing it forward, making sure that your left foot is flat on the ground. We're going to be lowering ourselves again, using the blocks. So they land in the middle of your back. And we're going to find the block over here. So this side frame is a little tighter. So sometimes you might need to put the block here a little higher for your head if you're not that flexible. And in my case, this side is really tight today, so I'm gonna have to be a little higher to start off on this side. So I'm gonna be breathing through it and try to increase flexibility in my left thigh. And that's totally normal. You'll find that from side to side, some, some days one is a lot tighter than the other. Maybe sometimes they'll be equal. We never know. And that's what exploring our body through yin yoga is all about. Notice that I use my hands for support here. So this helps me stay stable throughout this position as the tightness on my left thigh can pull me from left to right, throwing me off balance until it releases itself. So don't be shy if you have to use your arms for balance, it's totally normal. And as things are open up, as you can see, I'm gonna lower my head even more so that I can be like I was on the right side. Now I'm comfortable enough to do so.
So we're gonna be slowly rolling on our right side and bringing our left knee forward. Now it might feel good to just shift your legs from left to right like this, moving them to get the blood flowing. And we're gonna get on our stomachs. Opening our knees wide, we're gonna lift them behind us and touching our foot together, the sole of our feet. And we're gonna be lowering them down as much as we can. It's okay if they don't go all the way down, depending on your flexibility level. So we're gonna be lowering down to the ground and just holding it here, allowing gravity to pull your hips down. So you should have a nice stretch in your inner groin. We're gonna be holding this for five minutes. So just enjoy and relax here. There's really nothing else to do. The wider you go with your knees, the more challenging it's gonna be. So just find your edge and hold it there. Gravity will do the rest. As you open up, you might notice that your feet are getting closer and closer to the ground and that's good, that's what you want. So if they can collapse all the way to the ground and touch, like mine are doing now, that's great, just hold it there. So from here, we're gonna slowly coming out, bringing our legs straight and flat on the ground behind us. So we're gonna go into Sphinx pose. So for Sphinx, Sphinx pose, you want your elbows to be underneath your shoulders. And from here, it's almost like you're rolling your shoulders up 
around, back and down. So you want to bring your shoulder blades backwards and down and you want to be holding this position with your feet flat on the ground. So you should have a nice stretch in your low back. This is really a good, great asana for your spine. So just hang in here and breathe. So you'll notice I'm not talking much today and that is because I'm really enjoying the silence and really going into my own head to meditate as I'm holding the positions and I encourage you to do the same. I've been through a kind of a rough week this week so what I'm doing today is as beneficial to me as it is for you so I encourage you to go in silence inside your own mind and body to just connect with your emotions and to release and let go of anything that is not serving you at this moment. So from here, we're gonna go on all fours and we're gonna bring the sole of our feet together and spread our knees wide again for a wide-legged child's pose. So we're gonna be moving backwards and down, touching our glutes with our heels and we're gonna be collapsing forward. And if we can rest our forehead on the ground, that's perfect. Try to stretch your arms in front of you so you get a nice stretch in your lats and your shoulders at the same time and just hang in here for a wide-legged child's pose
So this offers a really nice stretch in your inner groin and really allow you to open that area who's most often tense and tight. So from here, we're going to slowly walk our hands backward and get our upper body up. And we're going to bring our knees inside to go on all fours. So from here, we're going to go into swan pose. So bringing the right knee behind your right wrist with your left foot behind the left arm. We're going to be going down like this and sometimes if it's too tight or not too flexible, you might want to put a block right underneath your hip like I did because I'm really tight today. And from here, we're going to do a little variation when we do tread the needle. So we're going to grab our right arm and bring it underneath. And we're going to be leaning forwards towards the ground. And once again, you can use a block to rest your head on it. If you're flexible, you can grab your left arm and go behind. Or in my case, I'm, I'm going to go this side. I'm just going to offer a better stretch on my right glute. And yes, if you're flexible, you can grab your right arm and go behind to grab your left. Your right foot, I mean. So we're just going to be holding here. So just relax and allow gravity to do all its work. It's normal if you have a lot of tension. I find this is one of the most challenging for me. Where my right foot wants to pull back and behind so this indicates that it's really tight It's okay to move around if you find that you're too deep into the pose and you can't really hold it. Just find your edge and come out of it a little bit until you find a spot that you can hold more appropriately. With time you'll get to know your body more and you'll play around with the different angles, and the different depth of the positions. So that's totally normal.
you might find like a deep release of heat, like a burn. And that's normal, it's trap energy within your tight muscles that's leaving your body. And it's gonna recirculate throughout your whole being. So this is really good to give you a boost and a regain of energy. So that's what's beautiful about yin yoga. It allows your body to release this trap and stored energy within your deep fascia tissue and connective tissue around your joints. So we're gonna slowly be coming out of it. And it might feel good to stretch your right leg back and move your hips forward a bit as five minutes into this position can be quite brutal. So from here, we're gonna take our left leg and we're gonna bring our left knee behind our left ribs. And once again, can place a block behind your glute if you're tight, like I am today. And from this position, we're gonna be twisting to the other side and using the block for support. So just twist as much as you can without forcing anything. I'm already feeling a deep stretch in my left glute and it's kind of like right at the edge of what I can hold. So I'm not gonna go any further for now, but feel free to do so if you can. We're really going deep today in our connective tissue. We're gonna feel the benefits a little later. But I wanna thank you for joining me today on this practice. You gotta thank yourself for taking care of your health. It's very important because when you lose mobility and you lose your health, it makes it hard to enjoy all the other beautiful things in life. Be slowly coming out of this one and once again we're going to be putting our blocks away and might be good to just move that hip around 
Do little circles with your hips. And we're gonna get on our backs. What we're gonna be doing the position happy baby. So we're gonna be grabbing the inside of our foot and pulling them down. So don't force anything here. It might be good to just pull them in and out like this from left to right, just to get that extra stretch behind your knee, pulling on your hamstring a bit. Then we're gonna go back in the middle and hold it from here. So what you wanna do is you're trying to bring your knees to the ground. by allowing gravity to open up your inner groin and to remove that tightness. So from here, we're gonna grab our big toe and we're gonna try to put our legs straight in an angle towards our head, but we're gonna to try to straighten them out. Once again, just to give you that nice stretch in your hamstring. And as you can see, my legs are shaking a bit, so that's my body fighting against me trying to resist the stretch. So you just hang in there and you, your body will give up at some point. That's where the breath comes in handy. As you breathe in and out, then try to direct that breath to release those tight muscle. So you can try to push your knees into straightening your legs as much as you can. grabbing the inside of our feet and pulling down for happy baby for the last minute of this position. Try to keep your low back flat on the ground as much as you can.
from here. We're gonna pull them inside and we're gonna come into our final resting pause, Savashtha. So just bring your feet wide apart and your hands by your side, palms up. We're gonna be holding this position for the last five minutes of this 45 minute deep yin yoga sequence. So I just really wanted to thank you for joining me today on this practice. If you could subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button, it's free, but it supports us YouTubers to provide new content and to build up our channel. And the good part is it really it doesn't cost anything for you, so please just click on the subscribe button and enjoy my yin yoga classes. So let's take some deep breath and hang in here for five minutes. It's a great time to notice how your body feels now compared to when you started earlier. For myself, I really feel like my low back and hips really opened up and I can feel the flow of energy circulating through my body. It's really amazing. We're gonna slowly be coming out of this. 
rolling on our side. So taking the lotus position, we're going to do three om sound to finish this practice. So breathing in, exhale. Thank you, yogis, for joining me today. Until the next class, namaste.